Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have received a nice parcel actually yesterday from Spain from a follower that uh, asked me if I wanted to switch uh, samples of paint. So, so she sent me eight half pans uh, with the paint uh, that she has and uh, I will pour in half pans some paint that I have. And this arrived yesterday and today I'm opening it. Actually, I started to open it and then I thought I might make a small video because the, the idea of this follower was so brilliant that uh, it's worth, uh, it is worth uh, having a small video about it. Let's open the content. So I think this is the paint, mm, some petals. Oh, a painting that she made. This is so lovely. Look at this. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. Her name is, uh, I think I can say that. Her name is Estivalis. Grazie, grazie, Estivalis. This is beautiful. Thank you. And then, uh, ooh, a letter that I will keep for myself that I have already read. Grazie Estivalis, very nice words. Some petals and now let's open the paint. Oh, no, there are more <laughs> goodies. There is tea, which is great because I love herbal tea. This is sweet cherry. Oh, this is so lovely. Grazie, grazie. <laughs> Such a nice box. Then I have uh, stickers. This is adorable. Fantastic. A bunny. This is packed with cuteness. More stickers. Art Nouveau. Beautiful. Stickers. Flowers. Van Gogh. And let's open the paint. Let's open the paint. Paint. With some washi tape. Lovely package. I will never be able to make such a lovely package myself. Mmm, very well packed. Oh, this is adorable. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Okay. This is Rosa Galli. Oh, she even put some uh, magnetic tape. And these are the colors that we decided to swap. And I will tell you which are they. Okay. The colors from Rosa Gallery, from Senelier, and from this Spanish brand that I have never tried called Ars Titan. Ars Titan. I don't know. Let's watch these beautiful colors that I have never tried before and that I had the opportunity to try thanks to my friend Estivalis. She has filled, you see that she has filled the have pants so well. Oh, this is a benchmark that's difficult to compete with, but I'm starting to swatch them. Great, I, I'm ready to swatch. I must say that I'm quite excited because um, Estivalis has really this brilliant idea of swapping colors. Of course, I don't think I can do this with uh, many followers, otherwise I finish my nice collection. So it was a one shot experience, but I really appreciated this uh, initiative by Estivalis and, um, and it's exciting to have these new colors. So. I don't think I need to reactivate them because they're still soft, most of them also because you know that Senelier really never becomes very dry, neither does Rosa Gallery. Uh, Schminke also rewets quite easily. So I'll start with this new brand from Barcelona. It's an artist brand and it's called Titan Arts. Never heard before. She has quite a nice collection and uh, apparently it's um, 
It's a good brand. Maybe I should have pre-wetted the paper, but I will continue with the, just water. A very nice primary red. I have chosen primary colors from this brand. And it goes to a very, to a very light rosy color. Okay, let's go on to oxide yellow. Usually oxide yellow is never very pigmented. I have the same experience in all brands. It's PY42, which is the same pigment of yellow ochre, but it's transparent and it's usually Mm, not so staining and I like it very much because it's transparent and uh, it's soft. Uh, I think it's a good uh, substitute of yellow ochre if you don't need an opaque result. It's good for glazing also because it's so transparent. It's a lovely earthy yellow. Still Titan Arts, Ultramarine Deep. Very curious to see if this granulates, and it does, it does granulate, it granulates. It's a beautiful Ultramarine. Mm. It's not a brand, I would say, that moves uh, in an extraordinary way, but it does what it has to do. Good pigmented brand, good pigmented paint, and with a lovely granulation. I won't need to wait until it dries, but I can see the granulation coming through. Then Schminke, this deep sea green is a super granulating color. Here it is. Wow. This is uh, made with um, PB29 uh, Ultramarine and PG18 uh, Viridian, uh, which is um, very soft, uh, cold uh, green, uh, sort of phthalo green, but uh, less staining. And the result is a beautiful turquoise. Uh, it's a deep sea green. And this is, this moves uh, wonderfully on paper. You know, Schminke is a uh, top brand and it's a beautiful color. Thank you, Estivalis. Nice addition to my super granulating collection. Then I have one of my favorite brands, Rosa Gallery, and this is Caput Mortum, Dead Man's Head. And it's nice for, uh, Portraits uh, and you need shadow, it's very granulating. It's PR 101. And um, this is, I've, I have some caput mortum that are more purplish. This is, uh, this looks purplish in the pan, but then it's, it's like a dull brown. It's very interesting. And you know that. Uh, Rosa Gallery has a wonderful um, dispersion on paper. It's the, my favorite brand when I need the wet on wet. It's better than Core, I think. Look at this. Very nice, hyper granulating uh, shadow color for portraits, beautiful. Now, always from Rosa Gallery, this Oriole in green, it's the first time I see this uh, definition, and it is uh, PY 
150, which is the most common replacement for yellow, orlin yellow, and PG7, phthalo green. And it's a very translucent, uh, transparent yellow, because PY 150, you know, nickel as a yellow is um, very transparent yellow. And it's a muted yellowish green. Usually yellowish, yellowish green is very artificial. This is slightly muted and I like it very much because you know that PY 150 is uh, brownish in mass tone and that's why it mutes down the phthalo green. And it's beautiful uh, grass uh, green. Wow, interesting. I'm so happy that I asked for this color. Then I have a color that um, has been recommended to me by many followers. And it is uh, yellow. Wow, this is beautiful. I hope you can see this on screen. It's such a clean, bright yellow. It's a cold yellow, like a lemon yellow, but without the opacity. It's beautiful. Actually, it's not so cold in Mastone. It's a medium yellow and so bright. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you, Steve Alice. It's actually almost warm in Mastone. And then it becomes cold once you water it down. Mm, I like when you have this variation. And then I have a color that I wanted to try for a long time. And it is Brown Pink by Sennelier. And it is another yellowish uh, green actually, despite the brown pink uh, name, bizarre. And it is the same composition, oriol in green, but uh, it has um, the addition of PBR23, a brown pigment. Uh, but it's more muted than the aureolian green, but it's in the same family, I would say. Because same uh, formulation, basically, with some uh, added uh, brown. And it's a lovely, light, yellowish olive green. Nice, nice for landscapes. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Stivalis. Grazie, grazie, grazie. We let this dry. Now, with this uh, very limited palette, I'll try and paint some onions. Of course, as usual, I will speed up.
as usual we let this dry and as usual it was a very quick sketch just to see how these uh, paints behave um, on paper if you want to sketch i found it very easy to sketch with these colors including the titan arts this unknown uh, spanish brand that i never heard before which is quite good actually it mixes very well it behaves very well on paper and uh, it's very pigmented so these are in case you didn't recognize them these are onions uh, and um, i don't know i might just add some uh, background the schminke aqua yes why not And voila, it's done and I have touched it and uh, this has bled into the aqua green, but to be honest, I quite like it. So I will leave this like this. And um, let's go back to our colors now they dry. And I love my new palette. So immediately I'm drawn to I'm attracted to two colors, and these are the Deep Sea Green by Schminke. Wonderful granulating color. And the Caput Mortum. This is so lovely, this Caput Mortum. It's, it has a lovely granulation. Beautiful, beautiful. But uh, let's proceed uh, in a more uh, orderly manner. So we start with Titan Arts. Very good primary colors. This is an earthy yellow, not the primary yellow, but um, I like to use it as a primary yellow. And um, they're perfect. The granulation is quite fine in this ultramarine deep, but is there, definitely is there, the granulation. Very fine granulation, but it's definitely there. And especially in the diluted wash. The Oxide yellow, once dry, has a quite a dry shift in maston, but it's a beautiful uh, earthy yellow. And the perilene deep, not a huge dry shift, and uh, it's a very nice. I like perilene colors, and this is uh, this is a good perilene red deep, absolutely very pigmented. I already talked about the Caput Mortum, absolutely wonderful. The orange green is. Um, it's nice it's a it's a vibrant but not too artificial grass green compared to other grass green that i have is less uh, artificial and um, it behave very well once dry not a huge dry shift compared to the senelier brown pink this is um, this became slightly more dull but uh, it's a beautiful color Cellier has a lot of multi-pigment colors. They're not so orthodox about single pigments. And I like that because these are colors that you can use straight from the palette. These in a landscape, just no need to add anything. You can just go with it. It's very nice. I don't know why it's called brown pink, but it's, it's green. But I can tell you it's lovely. And this yellow, Sophie, wow, it's so bright would be perfect for sunset or florals. It's uh, it's like the sun rising. It's really, it, it really makes me smile. It's a, it's a color of happiness for me. It's beautiful. I don't think I have any other PY93. Let me check. No, it's my only PY93. So probably if you wanted, you have to buy this uh, Sennelier color. And to me, this is the Slack Sunshine sunshine in a tube so good color to have uh, i think that i might uh, what if i finish this i might buy it again so thank you very much Estivalis. let's go to the sketch okay these are my onions and um i the reference image was uh, one of the challenges that i like to make on instagram every week this is the 
Food Paint Challenge by Dennis Feil. I always paint this uh, food references image. It's good practice. And uh, okay, there was a dry shift. The shadow is not so dark once uh, dry. So I think I will add some of my Caput Mortum and I will mix it with some ultramarine blue. Let's see what happens. Just here. Just here. I like to, I like to have bold shadows that uh, make light pop. Okay. Some red. Also some yellow, just to add some color variation. I like dark shadows, and also if it is a uh, slightly hard edge, I don't mind. I don't mind hard edges for shadows. The nature. You have hard edges, actually, maybe not here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, today is a wonderful spring day. We have had our lunch in the garden. It was wonderful. Time to paint now. Okay, so it's not dry, but still we can, I can uh, do some considerations. And my consideration is that uh, it was really fun. It's, it's a really lovely limited palette. I think I will uh, keep it as it is. Uh, this uh, lovely palette that um, my friend Estivalis has given to me, Le Manège Enchanteur. Lovely name, it's vintage. I love everything vintage. And uh, thanks a lot. I'm so happy about this new paint and I'll start pouring today my pains to send to Spain for Estivalis. Grazie mille, grazie, grazie to everyone for joining my video. And uh, do you know this Titan Arts uh, brand? If you do, please let me know. And uh, if you knew other colors that are completely new to me, like Sophie Yellow or this Rosa Gallery Oriole in Green, please do let me know your experience. I'm always Happy to chat, you know, I love chatting with my followers. So I'm waiting for your comments and uh, let me know what you think of these colors. Ciao, ciao, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far. I'll see you soon in a new video. Ciao, grazie, Stivalis. Ciao, ciao.